up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be talking about the upcoming XO6 Star Trek 2 The Wrath of Khan Lieutenant J.G. Savick six scale figure. Now I knew I already, I already knew about this figure like, like about a week ago. I just wanted to show I really had to do like you know like a video about it. But they do have a figure based on that particular character played by uh, Kirsten Alley who just recently passed too, you know, like a while ago she had recently passed away. Now they have like a uh, Maru edition, yeah, Kobashi. And they also have like a regular one, like a regular one edition too as well. So there's like two different versions of this particular figure. But I'm going to get into this right now. Okay, here's the XO6 Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan Lieutenant J.G. Savick six scale figure. Now, I think the likeness to Kirsten Alley is great on this figure. And that's kind of awesome that she is getting a figure because you know Kirsten Alley just had recently passed away like, you know, like, a, like a few months ago I believe. So yeah, it's kind of cool that she's getting like a figure uh, based on her character from uh, Star Trek II, The uh, Wrath of Khan. So yeah, and I think the likeness is uh, is great on this particular figure. Now, like I said, I'm not too too thrilled or too big about picking this particular figure up, but I know she will go go good with the uh, upcoming Captain Kirk and Spock and McCoy figures, you know, that they have on the way. I, I definitely am looking forward to those. Plus, they have a con figure too, as well. So she will go good with those figures if you like had those too, as well. So that's no reason why I am kind of willing to or like is interested in picking her own up. Now there are two different versions of this particular figure. You have the uh, Kobayashi Moro edition, which will have an interchangeable hands and a display stand. Then you also have like the deluxe regular one edition, which will have a removable jacket, multiple interchangeable hands, a heavy duty tricorder, a phaser, a communicator, and a display stand too as well. Now the Savic figure will stand 11 point inches tall and of course she will have a tailored fabric outfit and she will have 30 points of articulation. So yeah she does have a nice amount of accessories and then again you get like two different versions of this uh, particular figure so I guess you know if you're like a hardcore fan of this particular like, character, you probably would go with the, uh, the regular one edition or the deluxe one because it has like a bunch of like accessories and so on, even though it's like more price, you know. But I guess that would be the one like probably a lot of people would have prefer, would prefer. XO6 has the Star Trek 2, the Wrath of Calm, Lieutenant Savick, six scale figure scheduled to be released between April 2024 and June 2024. I like if you look in the promo images or promo pics you can see like pics of the uh, upcoming six scale Spock figure that looks so awesome and I think the likeness to Leonard Nemo is good on those so I'm definitely looking forward to, <laughs> to picking those up and again we know that they have Captain Kirk even like McCoy too as well like Bones then they also have like a Khan figure too that's supposed to be coming too as well so I'm definitely looking forward to picking all those up so like I was saying she will go good with those particular like figures so yeah, I'm definitely uh, excited about this and interested in this, you know. So this is the uh, XO6 Star Trek II, the Wrath of Khan, Lieutenant J.G. Savick, six scale figure. And I definitely have an interest in it, but I'm not too sure if I'm going to like rush out, you know, and I can pick it on up. <laughs> now XO6 has this particular figure scheduled to ship out between April 2024 to June 2024 so I'm interested in it but I'm not really too like like thrilled about it I know it would go, it would go good with the upcoming like Captain Kirk and uh Spock you know and the uh, McCoy figures that supposedly are coming because you know they're like still like waiting to be like officially revealed I can't wait to see those now she would definitely go good with those like if we had them three and then I know they have Khan coming too as well but yeah I'm definitely excited about this but interested in this way you know especially if I had those you know but anyway uh, please leave a comment and uh subscribe too as well 